Hello, I am Dr. Bishyash. I am a doctor of this clinic. I confirm that you are Mr. Nicholas all 30 years. Yes, doctor. Okay. I got a letter from your GP saying that you have zondis and uh, some problem with your bowel. Is that right? Yes, doctor. Okay. So can you please tell me in your own words what has happened to you? Well, doctor, it's actually not a new thing, doctor. Uh, for actually last uh, for the last three years, I, I've been facing sometimes this yellow discoloration of my body uh, in my uh, eyes. Okay. Uh, um, these have been, I think, eight to nine times in the last three years I have been facing this. And uh, when whenever I feel this uh, yellowish discoloration, I also have some uh, itching in my whole body. Okay. And uh, itching in my whole body. And uh, at times, sometimes I also have some raised temperature. And uh, so this is bothering me. And also I have some problems with my bowel movement, I think. Uh, I also have passed uh, blood for the last one year, I think. So this is also a bit bothersome. I'm really sorry uh, to tell you that I have fear I have cancer. Yeah, I'm extremely sorry to hear that. And let me find out what has happened to you. And uh, after that, I think I will be able to give you a, a better solution. So uh, I'm coming with the uh, zondis. Uh, you said that uh, for the last two years, you have uh, two, about nine times zondis. Yes. And uh, during that, you have also some uh, easing. Can you tell me that for how long it persists? I think, doctor, uh, this zondis persists about for uh, four to five days. Okay. And uh, what uh, do you feel during the zondis? Any changes in the color of your water work or changes in the skin? I think, doctor, the water work is a bit darker, doctor. Okay. And at other time, you are normal? Yes, doctor. Quite normal, doctor. Okay. Are you getting paler during uh, this time? I haven't noticed it, actually, doctor. That much. Okay. And uh, you feel uh, uh, some scars during the zombies episode? Somewhat. Any scratchy or easing? Yes, I, am. I told you, doctor, that there is itching in the whole body. Okay. Uh, do you uh, notice any changes in your weight? Uh, I think, doctor, I have lost some weight for the last six months. And what is it unintentional? Yes, doctor, unintentional. What about your appetite? Quite good, doctor. Okay. Have you noticed any lumps or bumps anywhere in your body? No, doctor, no lumps and bumps. Okay, and uh, you have bowel uh, problem for last one year, and you have sometimes passed uh, 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 blood in your bowel. Mm. Uh, do you have any constipation? No, doctor, no constipation, doctor. But uh, at times I have some tummy pain, some cramping pain in my tummy. Okay, uh, and uh, so I also sometimes uh, have felt that I pass some fresh blood. Okay. For the last one year, I have actually felt that over 10 times I have felt this. Okay. okay. That's how, really bad. How frequently you pass your bowel? Uh, doctor, I think around four to five times a week. Any uh, passes of bowel at night time? Uh, well, doctor, uh, I have noticed that uh, not, not very much, but few few times. Okay. And uh, any... Uh, loose motion? Uh, doctor, not that much. Okay. But uh, at times it, it occurs, but uh, I'm actually worried more about the blood. Okay, I can understand. Uh, any changes in your water work? No, doctor. Okay, any changes in your vision? Doctor, uh, I think... Uh, Three times I have had some red eyes. And uh, was it treated? Uh, doctor, it went out on its own. And for your zone dis and for your bowel problem, did you uh, seek any medical attention? No, doctor. Okay. I and actually didn't give any interest. Do you have any reaction in your body? Yes, doctor. Yes, yes. Uh, that's uh, another thing. I have some rash in my uh, legs, and these are very bothersome to me, doctor. Can you show me that? I... Yeah, 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 doctor. Okay. And for how long you are having this? 
I think I've been having this for the last three months. Okay. And uh, did you start following any injury? No, no. Is it increasing? Yes, doctor. It's increasing day by day, doctor. And it's yeah. just very ugly. Do you have any past medical condition? Uh, uh, doctor, I don't know of any. Okay. Uh, do you take any medication? No, doctor. Okay. Can I examine you now? Yeah, yeah, doctor. Yeah. I uh, I want to see your pulse. Yes, it's normal. Okay, and uh, I want to see any uh, signs of rheumatoid, uh, rheumatoid, any uh, joint pain. Do you have any joint pain? Yes, doctor. Uh, uh, some some joint pain in the pain back. Okay, for how long? Our uh, doctor for the last six months. Okay. <laughs> And uh, may I uh, know that I have a few personal questions that uh, any of yeah. your members have this type of condition? Any I don't know of any doctor. Do you smoke? Uh, yeah, no doctor. Uh, do you drink alcohol? No. Okay, that's fine. And uh, now I'm going to see your eyes if there is any red. Yes, deep joint is present. Okay. And uh, at the time, I want to see. Uh, can you show me your tongue? Yes, it's a yellowish. Okay, and I want to see any rash in his mouth. Uh, no, 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 uh, my rash is present. But okay. I had some rash previously. I want to see the tummy if there is any lumps or any tenderness. Uh -huh. But there is some tenderness in the left side. Okay. And I want to see examine the rash, two minutes remaining. Yes. I, I need a gloves for examining his rash. Yeah, 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 you're going to have it. Okay, and uh, it's base. I want to examine its, its base and uh, do you feel any tenderness and also his skin? Uh, yes, yes, it's, tender. it's tender. Okay. May I know that what is your concern? Uh, one concern was that yeah, you are probably uh, thinking of cancer. Yes, doctor. I I any... doctor. yes, I can understand your concern. As you have taken your, uh, I have taken your history, I have uh, examined you, I need to run some tests uh, to be sure for that. And uh, till now, I think that you probably have a condition called inflammatory bowel disease. Have you heard of it? No, doctor, I haven't heard that. Oh, is it something serious? Uh, okay, actually, uh, this is a condition uh, that can be serious if it is not treated. And uh, we have a good treatment option for that. But before uh, we are sure what happened to you, uh, we need to uh, run some uh, blood test and some imaging, uh, imaging test okay yeah, yeah. i think uh, that uh, this uh, bowel problem is related to your ulcer and also related to your uh, jaundice problem okay okay so why why this jaundice doctor why why is happening uh, sometimes uh, this uh, type of uh, disease that your bowel have this can affect other parts like you, you have joint pain you have uh, rash in your eyes and uh, this also affects the liver Okay, doctor. And uh, do you have any question for me? Uh, no, doctor. Thank you, doctor. Yeah, I am going to admit you and uh, I am going to run this test for you. Do you have any problem with that? Uh, can't you just uh, send me home? Uh, okay, actually, uh, this type of treatment uh, needs uh, urgent evaluation. Time up. Okay, folks. Okay. Uh, well, uh, so uh, what about your diagnosis here? Uh, I think uh, this uh, uh, gentleman is suffering from uh, inflammatory bowel disease, most like the ulcerative colitis, uh, which has complicated a condition uh, that is uh, likely to be uh, primary uh, sclerosing cholangitis. And okay, that's all right. That, uh, and, uh, so I am considering it, it, is, it is also associated with pyoderma gangrenosum, uh, but I also have some, some other differentials. Like I can, I am also considering it can be a case of uh, autoimmune hepatitis or primary uh, biliary cirrhosis. And also, uh, I would have, I would have asked more about uh, his jaundice if what was it following any. Uh, type of uh, food intake that is for any viral uh, hepatitis. Yeah. Any uh, injectable drug he takes. I really I didn't get time for that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's all right. 
and uh, uh, how would you investigate the patient? I will go for the uh, based on investigation, complete blood count to see anemia and white blood cell count level to see any infection, then uh, inflammatory markers, ESR and CRP. After that, go for the liver function test uh, with uh, uh, serum uh, 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 ALT and uh, uh, serum uh, AST and uh, serum uh, gamma ZT level, serum bilirubin level. And uh, uh, what do you expect here? I think uh, all of them are, are will be raised. Okay, most frequently ALP and GGT. These two are very more important okay. for raised and bilirubin. Okay. Okay. Yes. And uh, okay, after, and after and that, then, I'll, uh, I'll go for the uh, synthetic function test uh, with uh, serum level and uh, serum uh, prothrombin uh, and also uh, running the prothrombin time. And after that, uh, I will uh, go for the specific uh, uh, test uh, like uh, anti nuclear antibody, anti uh, mitochondrial antibody, and uh, serum IgM level and uh, EM2 mm. mitochondrial antibody. Mm. Mm. And, uh, mm. And uh, also, uh, I will uh, go for the uh, urine routine examination and uh, stool for uh, calprotectin uh, level. And uh, also, after that, I will uh, consider upper uh, uh, endoscopy and also uh, colonoscopy with uh, biopsy if needed. And uh, okay, if what, do, what, what, what would you uh, wish to find in uh, colonoscopy and biopsy? Uh, okay, uh, colonoscopy may show uh, the, it, uh, the ulcerative colitis uh, with extensive ulceration uh, in the distal uh, uh, colon, including the rectum. Yes, always the rectum. Is it continuous or uh, non-continuous? Usually, ulcerative colitis is continuous. Okay, that's very good. That's very good. And uh, how would you uh, plan to uh, treat the patient? Okay, but it is actually a multidisciplinary approach. First, I will... Uh, uh, educate and counsel the patient about uh, this condition and uh, then I will uh, involve uh, the hepatologist uh, for his uh, 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 liver involvement and uh, then I will involve the gastroenterologist uh, for his ulcerative colitis and uh, as uh, he uh, and also I will uh, need uh, some from uh, uh, input from the physiotherapist and also involvement of the uh, ophthalmologist as okay, the, okay that's all right that's all right i can get it and uh, you told that there it can be primary sclerosing cholangitis am i right ah uh, yes as it you is with IBD. Okay, okay yeah yeah so uh okay uh, can you uh, that's uh, you have done actually very well um, i think uh, you have done very well now let's uh, discuss some topics okay and uh, uh, one thing if you ever think that psc might be a cause okay i think you should Tell about MRCP. This okay. Yes, yes, okay. I, I, I forgot that. Yes, you should. Uh, you uh, should uh, ultrasonogram of the liver, ultrasonogram of the liver, and MRCP. Yeah, ultrasonogram, and, ultrasonogram, and, ultrasonogram can biopsy. be added. And yeah. liver biopsy. Yeah, yeah, ultrasonography should be added, but MRCP is very important because there can be both intrahepatic and extrahepatic uh, dilatation present. Yes. Okay, yes. in PSC. Okay, uh, that's one thing. And other thing was uh, here. When you go to the treatment for PSC, I think you at least should tell the word about RCD oxycholic acid. Okay, this is the prime treatment here. Okay, you just should use the word here. That that would be important. Okay, mm -hmm. and otherwise it's fine for itching. You can use cholestyramine and for IBD this specific treatment. Now there is one thing that I told you, and actually I missed a point. I I actually made a mistake there. I told that I. <laughs> I opened up bowel four or five times a week. Actually, that was a mistake. I, I, I was going to tell four to five times a day. Okay? Okay. Oh. So, uh, at that time, uh, there is actually a severity range of IBD, of ulcerative colitis. Okay? Like, how many times are you opening it to the bowel? It's mild, less than four. Moderate, four to six. Okay? Severe, greater than six. Then there are also some other parameters there, like albumin, um, uh, hemoglobin level, ESR. Okay, so uh, pulse rate. So now this is also important to check the pulse rate. Suppose you are getting that he is opening a bowel for greater than six times, and he and his pulse is more than hundred. Suppose, okay, okay. Are you getting it? Yes. So th that is important for in the examination part because then it you would be it would be considered a severe case, and in, in that case the severe, very quick management is needed. Like IV fluid, IV nutrition, 
nutrition is needed, uh, immunosuppression with steroid, okay, and and antibiotics, uh, IV antibiotics, all this should be covered up, okay. These things you should have, uh, you could have mentioned, uh, or or this is just maybe just for the academic purpose. If the patient comes is in this stage or in that state, okay, and for pyodermal ganglionosum, you can tell that uh, dermatologist can also be involved. I I'm not sure, and I, I forgot whether you uh, remembered about dermatologist. I I cannot remember. Have you told it? Sorry. Uh, have you told uh, the multidisciplinary team consisting of dermatologists also? I, I, I cannot remember. Okay, I forgot. Yeah, yeah. You should have told about uh, hepatologist, uh, uh, gastroenterologist, and, and dermatologist. Okay. And physiotherapist and occupational health, health therapist if needed. Okay. Okay. Yes. Uh, so, uh, uh, can you remember of anything else now for the discussion part? No. Okay, uh, I think you can just stop the, uh, uh, you know, uh, the recording. Hello, I am Dr. Vishash. I am a doctor of this clinic. I confirm that you are Mr. Black and I'm 28 years. Yes, doctor. Okay, I got a letter from your ZB saying that you have some shortness of breath for last few months. Is it right? Yes, doctor. Okay, so can you please tell me in more details what has happened to you? Okay, doctor, uh, I think uh, for the last... Uh, uh, a few months, I have been uh, facing uh, some shortness of breath, actually, doctor. Okay. Uh, at the beginning, I didn't uh, take no. it uh, very seriously, but uh, as the day as the days are progressing, I think that it's getting more and more se se severe, and uh, I am also feeling that I have I am suffering from some cough. Okay. So uh, what's going on, doctor? I don't know. And I, 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 am I having some problem with my heart or anything like that? Okay, uh, let me uh, uh, find out what has happened to you. And uh, you okay. said that you have shortness of breath. And uh, did it start suddenly or gradually? It's gradually, doctor. Okay, and uh, do you feel shortness of breath all the time or just any particular time of the day? I think it's more when I do some exercise or something like that. Okay, and anything makes it better? Have you noticed anything? Uh, doctor, I haven't noticed, doctor. Okay, have you noticed any shortness of breath at night? Uh... Doctor, uh, very, I, I couldn't notice, doctor. Okay, that's not a problem. And uh, you said that your shortness of breath uh, comes when you do any exercise. And uh, have you taken account uh, when you are at rest? Uh, doctor, one or two times, but uh, I think it's more while I do some exercise. Okay. And how uh, long or how far you can do your job without having this problem? I can do my jobs, doctor. There is no problem with that, but I feel that I have some some shortness of breath, some discomfort in my breathing. Okay, I can do my jobs. It's not that I cannot do whatever I, I, I'm doing. I can do it. Before having this uh, uh, shortness of breath, did you have any other abnormal events like any fever or anything else? Uh, no, doctor, uh, but sometimes for the last four or five months, I think I uh, sometimes I feel that I have some raised temperature, although uh, I, I, when I measure, it's, it's very less. It's usually within uh, 99 to 100 degrees. Okay. And uh, for this time, you have also cough. Uh, yes, doctor. Cough all the time, all the day? Uh, doctor, more, uh, it's increasing now, doctor, as the days up are, in, uh, are going by. And how That's frequently do you feel the cough? Uh, actually, almost every day, Dr. Now. Okay. Any nighttime cough? Uh, so sometimes, Dr. Sometimes. Okay. And any uh, cough during uh, your work or you feel better at night? Have you noticed anything like that? Uh, doctor, it is uh, not uh, the specific time, Dr. I cannot specify that. Okay. Do you produce any film? No, no, never. Have you ever coughed out any blood? No, Dr. Do you have uh, any notice any changes in your uh, ankle or in swelling in your legs? No, no, no swelling. Do you have to wake up at night due to uh, cough or no, no. shortness of breath? No, no. Okay. Uh, do you have any headache? No. Any shortness of uh, any uh, redness in your eyes? Uh, doctor, once only one time I, I had. And uh, did it went away? On its it own? went away on its own, doctor, but it I suffered a bit. Okay. And uh, do you have any rash anywhere in your body? Yes, doctor. Yes. That's another issue, doctor. As you can see me, I have some uh, problems in my nose. Okay. I can see. For how long you have this? Uh, for the last four months, doctor. Okay. And do you have any pain? Where, doctor? On your nose? 
you know doctor sometimes i feel some pain okay any uh, crusting or any thing comes out from this i have noticed doctor uh, how about your weight i think doctor i have lost some weight i have, i cannot surely tell you but i think so any hot or cold preferences no any night time sweats uh, i have noticed okay any pain in your tummy uh no doctor how about your water work well doctor i think uh, i have to go more frequently to water for my water work doctor any, any pain in your tummy i have uh, noticed doctor any weakness at any side of your body uh, uh no doctor any joint pain yes 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 doctor right. i have some pain in my joints do you have any morning uh, stiffness or any stiffness in the morning doctor i think that i have some morning stiffness doctor for how long well, i think about 30 to 35 minutes okay and uh, have you noticed anything that makes your pain uh, joint pain better but actually the pain is not that serious doctor so i haven't uh, i am more concerned about my shortness of breath i couldn't do you have any uh, medical condition i don't know doctor do you take any medication two minutes remaining no 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 okay and uh, any of your family member have this type of condition no doctor did you ever uh, visit it uh, outside the country no any contact with the tb patient no okay can i examine you yeah yeah i am uh, going to see your hands for in uh, the joints can you show me the where do you feel the pain yeah yeah, yeah. i think it is a bit uh, pain all over the hand but not not very severe okay and i am going to see the pulse at the same time i am going to see the eyes for any redness and i am going to see if there is any anemia and i can mm. see the nose and after that i will uh, need to gloves to examine it okay uh, at first in the pulse when you, when i told you it, it is a bit it, bit slow 50 beats per minute and uh, uh, eyes are normal and nose and you can use the gloves now okay i'm uh, seeing into the nose for any bleeding or any crusting point okay and after no bleeding uh, can you show me your tongue yeah it's normal i am going to see uh, 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 uh listen the lung yeah there is Let a bit of five kips okay and uh, listen the heart um bradycardia okay, okay may i know that uh, do you smoke no doctor okay that is fine and uh, at this point do you have any concern Well, what is going on with me? What's what's, yes, what's the problem? In your history, I think that you have a condition called sarcoidosis. In this condition, our own uh, body defense uh, attacks some tissue, and uh, then this type of uh, condition appears. And uh, I have to, uh, examined you, and uh, it seems likely that it has affected your eyes, your nose, and your lungs. For affecting the lungs, time up. Okay. 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 So, what do you think your diagnosis is? Uh, for this gentleman, my uh, diagnosis is this is a case of uh, sarcoidosis with presence of uh, lupus perineo uh, with uh, 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 then uh, with uh, bilateral upper lobe fibrosis. Okay, okay. And uh, what, what did he can, can be brought up? Brought up again? Mm, okay, and uh, for this, uh, uh, I will also consider uh, tuberculosis. Okay, I suppose that, uh, okay, I, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Suppose the uh, it is tuberculosis patient. Suppose, yes. and there is the similar type of rash. Then uh, what would you think? What would you tell it? This rash. Okay, uh, I think uh, almost similar type of rash. Yes, I forgot the name. Lupus vulgaris. Lupus okay. vulgaris. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Other. Yeah, other the differentials are rheumatological condition like uh, systemic lupus erythematosus. Yeah. Rheumatoid arthritis. Okay, and any drug cause? I cannot remember. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, that's all right. Uh, but uh, since you told about fi bilateral fibrosis, so I asked about drug cause. So there can be some drug causes like methotrexate, nitrofurantoin, uh, like this amount around. Okay, okay. Uh, For I think they were, they were in, uh, involved the basal region. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think uh, uh, some can involve. I am not sure. I can just. 
uh, uh, just uh, just for fibrosis purpose. But if there are two important actual DDs that you haven't told, you can tell about uh, subcutaneous tissue disease. That's well. But I I actually want to say because these are this should have been included in the history part, like occupation, silicosis, that yes. would have been important. And another thing, uh, pet exposure, extensive allergic alveolitis. Okay. Okay. So these these DDs I think should have been brought. Okay. And others you have excluded like nasal casting, so that resinous granulomatosis or something like that. You have actually in any case of shortness of breath, what we, when what we forget is that TB sarcoidosis, extensive allergic alveolitis, silicosis for occupational exposure, and this type of vasculitis like resinous granulomatosis or something. These I mean, something sometimes we forget. I think okay. So all okay. these should be. Covered. And what what investigations should be done? Okay, well, I will go for the complete blood count to see anemia and white blood cell count level to see any signs of inf uh, infection and then I will go for the inflammatory markers after that renal function test, liver function test and uh, serum uh, enzyme converting enzyme level and after that I will uh, go for the uh, bronchoalveolar lavage uh, for uh, lymphocyte uh, ratio especially CD4 and CD8 ratio. And, Very good. Uh, then uh, I will also go for uh, the biopsy from the lungs uh, to see any granulomatous change and biopsy from the nasal uh, region. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. I have I have one question here. I have one question that uh, what 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 change can you find here? I think uh, it will uh, uh, bring uh, the uh, specific cells uh, for non non cascading granuloma. Yes. Okay, non cascading granuloma. Now, if I ask you that, can it be TB? In non cascading granuloma? Uh, actually, tuberculosis is cascading granuloma. Okay, just for the, for the academic purpose, you should let it know that it can be TB. Okay, TB is consists of two tubercles, hard tubercle and soft tubercle. If it's soft tubercle, it's non cascading granuloma. Okay. 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 And any other any other investigation? Uh, okay, I will uh, then after that I will uh, go for the imaging uh, test like. Uh, Test X ray and then uh, ECG of the heart and uh, echocardiogram. Then I will also go for the urine for routine uh, examination and also serum electrolytes. And uh, oh, like I think that's enough. I think that's enough. But test X ray and a high, high resolution CD scan, okay? Yes. And for to see any fibrotic changes since there are some chances of fibrotic. And how do you manage it? Yeah, actually, uh, this is a uh, multidisciplinary approach. First, uh, educating and counseling the patient, and uh, after that, uh, as uh, this patient uh, have lupus perniop and uh, bilateral upper lobe involvement, and I for this I uh, need to involve uh, the rheumatologist, uh, that uh, then our uh, respiratory physician, uh, then uh, also dermatologist for his uh, reconstruction of this uh, shape and uh, any uh, involvement of the surgeon. Uh, and also, I will uh, involve the physiotherapist for this. Okay, okay, and uh, okay, and actually, do you all think that always it, uh, treatment is needed in this patient? Uh, uh, this gentleman, uh, actually, uh, asymptom uh, asymptomatic patients uh, with sarcoidosis or any without any lung involvement uh, patient, uh, it can go without treatment, but this patient have history of uh, iuritis and also have uh, lupus parneo with involvement of bilateral upper lobe. This patient uh, definitely need uh, uh, treatment. Okay. Okay. So thanks a lot, doctor. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, so do you yourself want to add anything to the discussion? No, actually, uh, this case is had huge questions. So, yeah, this, this actually is a huge question. Eh? But uh, anytime I think whether we find fibrosis, I think we should rapidly go into the drug cause, into the uh, connective tissue causes, and this sarcoidosis, TB, extrinsic allergic alveolitis, and silicosis. So because occupation and pet history, I think this may be important. Are you uh, are you in union? Uh, are, do you think the same or do you I want yes. to add anything? I should have asked about the occupation. Yeah, yeah, occupation and pet. Okay. Yeah. So if, if this were us, then I think you could have covered all the DDs. Okay. Okay. So, and uh, do you want to add anything now? No. Okay, I think you can stop.